American Rapids, 1994. No problem, except for the one.
cares about you. She couldn't think of any off the top of her head. So we turned to a few of your friends for some fun memories they've shared with you. A close friend of yours remembered back to a time when the two of you went to a movie in GL. On the way home, you had taken a wrong turn and somehow ended up in Frazee. <laughs> because you were extremely nervous about getting home on time, when you and your friend pulled up to a railroad crossing, you turned to her with a puzzled look on your face and asked, which way do I turn? <laughs> Aaron, maybe I'll drive next time. <laughs> Matt, how about a memory from before we even knew you? Do you remember what your apple tree in your front lawn at your house in, North, in South Dakota? Well, from what we've learned, you liked to climb trees when you were young. One day when you were climbing the tree, your mom heard you screaming for help when she was inside the house. She looked out the window and saw you hanging by your pants at your knees. <laughs> Upside down from the apple tree. And all you could say was, are the neighbors watching? <laughs> and lived in Montana. One day, your mom received a phone call from the principal at your school. <laughs> Sometime during the day, you and two of your friends had written your name on the bathroom wall. When you came home after school that day, your mom asked you if anything interesting had happened. You told her it was just an ordinary day and that you had a lot of fun. So then she asked, well, Abby, did anything interesting happen in the bathroom? Well, yeah, Mom, it did. When I was in the bathroom, my crayon jumped into my hand and wrote my name on the wall. <laughs> now, Abby, everyone's heard of magic markers, but magic crayons? <laughs> well, Mike, the information we found on you is endless. <laughs> but the one we felt that fit you the best was when you fell through the ice in the swamp behind your house when you were in third grade. After trying to get out for more than a half hour, you, find, you made it out and realized you should have used some of the ballet moves that you had learned from two years of lessons. <laughs> now we all know how well Heather likes to dress up, so we couldn't help but bring up the age when she loved to imitate Dolly Parton. <laughs> long pink dress, sit in the living room. First you'd stuff your dress full of washcloths. <laughs> sit in the living room and serenade your family with a tune. <laughs> well, Steve, we never realized how good a kid you really were. We asked your parents and they could find nothing to say. <laughs> then we realized that you probably needed some money. So after the crowning and the coronation this evening, we'll be having a collection in the back of the auditorium for Steve and the Barron family. We need to replace some grass in the ditch in front of the Barron's house due to the fact that Steve's car is parked there almost 24 hours a day. <laughs> that was just a brief look into the past of the 1994 Queen and King
Awesome. <laughs> Good luck to all the teams this week. <laughs> Congratulations, Queen Erin and King Steve. We now like to call Mrs. Gladys Hovland and the concert choir ensemble. <laughs> 